What is going on, everyone? Tim from Tierfon Orbital, the Jawas Junkyard Red Harvest. Apollo does not approve of that at all. <laughs> uh, so the Jawas Junkyard Red Harvest. This is the first time that I have been able to see this hilt in person. I was fortunate enough to have Leon from Jawas Junkyard ask me to design the factory or the stock chassis for this particular hilt. This is a very, very unique hilt, very gnarly looking hilt. Uh, so I was asked to do the chassis uh, that would have been offered with this hilt if you purchased it, right? So that particular chassis was designed uh, with the idea in mind that we wanted to take advantage of this skeletal look of the chassis so that or the a skeletal look of the hilt rather so that chassis uh, was designed to be printed in acrylic or uh, translucent or clear resin so for this particular install commission the customer did not want that chassis uh, they wanted a different chassis they just wanted a you know a, they wanted I, I they wanted me to design a, reg, a normal cha, normal chassis right uh, so the challenges that i had when designing the initial chassis for this hilt were not only the space requirements obviously it's a very short hilt okay uh, but we do also want to take advantage of that skeletal look right so obviously the compromise was a shorter or a smaller battery uh, so that is the same essential design in this chassis uh, but this has been printed in just regular pla right so we've got some windows on each side of it for 2020 neopixel strips for that great shine through action uh, but it's just been printed in PLA. It's a little bit of an easier easier print, right? right? So uh, I do want to come in a fusion and we'll talk about the chassis. And then we'll come up top and we'll do the whole nine yards, right? So let's come in a fusion. Okay, so here it is. This is the chassis for the, well, I, I don't know. What you, I would call this the secondary chassis for the Jawas Junkyard Red Harvest. Really same essential backbone of the factory chassis with just a couple of differences, right? So I've got very light vent work, excuse me, light vent work on each side of the chassis. And then underneath that vent greebly is another vent for 2020 NeoPixel strips, right? So we uh, slide a 2020 strip on each side up this channel. And then this back channel on the spine is where my wires come up for uh, the board up to the board rather right so very very limited amount of space in this hilt this is a 22 millimeter sorry it's only it's like a 24 millimeter just over a 24 millimeter chassis um so one of the things that i chose to go for with both of these chassis is a 22 millimeter nano elite speaker from Smuggler's Outpost. I love these speakers that come from Albert at Smuggler's Outpost. I think I cannot tell the difference between the 22 nano elite and a 24 millimeter speaker. Uh, but of course, with the 22 millimeter, you get a little bit extra space to fully enclose it, right? Uh, so that is why I like using those. So both of these chassis have been sized for a 22, 22 millimeter nano elite speaker. Okay. Up top is where our profi board sits. Uh, I had um, on each side of the profi board are brass hat tactile switches. These are like 0.7 millimeter, I believe, uh, brass hat tactiles that sit in these channels. And then of course, up top, we have our lit PCB emitter. This one is, in this install is from CC Savers. All right. Very, very small chassis. This takes a flat top 18350 battery. Okay, let's come up top. Okay, so here it is. This thing is super gnarly looking. I mean, this is like a mean, really a mean looking hilt, right? Um, very, very unique. Here is this dainty little chassis. This thing is tiny. Very, very small chassis. Okay, this takes an 18, 350 flat top battery, but very, very simple setup. No kill switch in this chassis either, right? There was just not enough room for it. So just not enough, not a lot of room for a lot, but I was able to get those 2020 NeoPixel strips in this because, you know, like I said, you want to take advantage of this skeletal look of the hilt. So we get to see some of the inner workings of the chassis. I would have loved to do a, like a premium 
hybrid chassis for this so you get some like detailed gravely work on it but there's just not enough room for it unfortunately and that's fine it's a great feeling hilt i think externally it feels good in hand so it's not too wide right but that's it so to use this chassis it does take a flat top 18 350 battery right so in this particular build my negative is down towards the speaker so put that battery in your chassis okay there are those 2020 Neopixel strips lit. Okay. All right. So once you get your battery in the chassis, you want to take this pommel off, right? So there is a set screw or a machine screw, pan, it's not a pan head screw, but there's a screw up top here that holds that pommel in place. So you want to unthread, take that screw out. will cooperate with me okay and that will release that pommel so this pommel also has a, a piece inside of it that helps to keep the chassis secure or pushed up into the correct position this I have actually e6000 into the pommel so this just stays here it lives in the pommel no need to like take that out it just kind of stays there it lives there right once you get that out, you want to put your chassis in, right? So if I can remember what orientation this goes, right? So uh, considering this spine up here is the upper section of the hilt, you want that battery to line up with that spine, right? So slide your chassis in, push it all the way up until it stops. Then you can take your pommel, put your pommel in place and secure it with that screw. Okay. And then you're good to go. Oops. Long pre on here. Let's wait for it. <laughs> All right. cool looking hilt and especially with that shine through it looks great in my opinion right all right so let's come down to the bottom Here's a bit of a better look, close up look at that with those accents. I tried to switch up the animation on the accents for each font just to make it look a little bit different. So like I said, that, that 22 millimeter speaker, it's great. It performs the same in my, to my ears, it sounds the same as a 24 millimeter speaker, but you can get a little bit better resonance when you're fully enclosing the speaker. Right? Even though this, for this particular build, it's not truly fully enclosed. But I just, I love these 22s from Smuggler's Outpost, right? So, let's put a blade in it. All right, so this is going to be another 7, yeah, 7 eighths inch blade. A lot of 7 eighths inch, 7 eighths inch bladed hilts lately, which I love. I prefer a 7 eighths, eighths inch blade. Say that five times fast. So, there is a beauty ring, not really a beauty ring, but this upper emitter ring will unthread Okay, you want to unthread that to show or to reveal your set screw. This will serve as your blade retention, right? So unthread that, put your blade in, and then you can tighten that set screw. Now, one of the things that you want to keep in mind when you're tightening that set screw is you got to make sure it's all the way down past the threads. Otherwise, this ring will not thread on past that set screw. I'm going to leave this off right now. This is an it's super tight around a 7 8 eighths inch blade, but I'm just gonna leave it off for the demo, right? So anyhow, once you get your blade in and tighten your set screw, you're good to go. Let's see what else we got in here.
Let's see what else we got. All right. One more. So different animations for each font. Such a strange feeling hilt in hand, right? Okay. And that is it. That is the Red Harvest from Jawa's Junkyard. Very gnarly, <laughs> very gnarly, gnarly looking hilt, right? And I was very grateful to have been a part of the chassis design in this one. It was a little bit of a challenge. And also, you know, I was happy to just do another, a, a new chassis or a different chassis for it too. So anyhow, to the customer, thank you very much for your patience and trusting me with your install. If anyone has any questions about this chassis or this install, please do not be a stranger. And with that being said, may the force be with you always. Have a good one, everybody.